Hi, welcome along to a new video. In this video, we're going to look at creating a bootable USB stick for Windows 10. Why might you want to do this? It may be to install Windows on a new machine or a new hard drive, or it may be to do some troubleshooting if you have a machine that you're having issues with. The tool that we're going to use allows us to create a bootable USB and a bootable CD, but in this video, we're going to focus on creating the bootable USB. The requirements that you need to do this are uh, a Windows PC, uh, an internet connection and a USB stick just like the one we have here. The USB stick has to be um, at a minimum of 8 gigabytes in size and it's going to format the USB altogether. It's going to clear all the content off it and use it for this purpose only. So I wouldn't use one that you have content on that you would like to keep. Let's flick over to the PC just now and we'll create the bootable USB. Okay, we're at the desktop now, so the first thing we're going to do is open the file explorer and we'll plug in our USB and we can see that the Kingston drive I'm using has now come available. Let's open the browser and we'll do a web search for Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. I'll also put a link to the correct page in the video description. So we're going to open this one from the Microsoft website and we're going to select download tool now. So we'll open the downloaded file. It's going to load a few things. This might take a little bit of time depending on your internet connection speed. We'll accept the terms and conditions. Now the tool allows us to upgrade this PC or to create installation media. Um, let's say you had run this on a Windows 7 PC for example or an older version of Windows 10, you could upgrade it. But for this one we're going to create the installation media. Now these settings are based on the system that you're opening the tool on. You can go in and change these if you'd like to. Um, now the only thing I would call out is the uh, architecture there, so I would recommend 64-bit. 64-bit is typically used for machines with 4 gig rates of memory or more, which all machines should have in this day and age. So when we get this option to create the USB or the ISO, we're going to go for the USB. The ISO is what we would use to create a bootable CD or optical media. Now we're going to select the drive. Um, so what you can do here, you can actually jump back into Windows Explorer just to confirm that you have the right drive and you're using the correct one. So I'll select the Kingston one here. Now this is the longest part of the process. It's now going to go through uh, three phases of the process. Now this again depends on a couple of things. It depends on the speed of your internet connection. It depends on the speed of the USB stick um, and also the speed of the USB connection on your machine. So if you're using a machine with a USB 3 uh, socket and a USB 3 flash drive, this will go a little bit faster. So what's going to happen now, it's going to download the files like it's doing now. It's then going to verify the downloaded files and it's going to create the USB media. So we'll just let that continue just now. And okay, when you get to this stage, the process has been completed, it's done. So we click on finish and in the background it's going to clean up some downloaded files. If we open up Windows Explorer now, we can see that the name of the USB stick has changed and this reflects the uh, the fact it's now a bootable Windows installation USB. And then before we pull the machine or the stick out of the computer, we want to eject that safely. Okay, now you've created the bootable USB, it's now ready to go. So to use this, what you would want to do is on the computer, is boot to this instead of the hard drive. That will then allow you to install Windows or to do some troubleshooting if you're having some issues. In the next video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use this on a new machine. So I've ordered a new laptop that's coming without Windows installed, and I'm going to use this exact USB to install Windows on that new machine. Please subscribe and check that out if you would like to see it when the time comes. Um, I hope this has been helpful for you, and thanks for watching.